please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hey now, it's your girl Shani De Nicole, and welcome to Do Dream One if you're new. And if you're already a dreamer, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. All right, y'all. Y'all see my little cartoony thingy? Ah, I love it. Okay, so today we are going to be more. Today we are going to be making this DIY personalized wall clock. Yes, so let's go ahead and get into it. But first, dreamers, please make sure you subscribe. I'm on my way to 10K subscribers, so please subscribe. I'm at 4,500 now. Thank you. Okay, so now let's go ahead and get to it, okay? So what we're going to do is bring in the design. And then I'm going, so right now, as you see, I don't know, where is it at? I saved it under clock, but we are in 8.5 inches by 11 inches. Okay, we are inside of Canva and we are about to get it started. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this to make my clock. So I'm going to go ahead and come in. See, I'm copying and I'm pasting it down here and I'm just going to delete it from right there. And I'm going to go to elements. So I'm going to go. And I'm going to go to circle. I'm going to get this circle here. And I'm going to make it to, to fit that clock from Walmart. I'm going to make it 7 point. Because when I, I, I measured the glass and it was 8 inches. So I'm going to make it 7 point six just in case i have to cut some of it off okay so we have the circle we're going to go back over to elements and we're going to go to circle Ooh, that's not it circle text no nope, this not the right thing we're going to go to text and we're going to go to circle text and then we're going to take this so i don't have to put all the little dots and lines or whatever in there we're going to delete that oh i like that font we're going to delete that and then we're going to set it inside of the clock okay so that's that now we're going to go back to elements we're going to go to frames and then we're going to make this frame into the seven point. Six. Okay. So we're going to make that and then we're going to take this command copy or I may go back to upload. I'm going to see how I want to do it and put it inside of there. So now that is inside okay, so it's a few things i did i actually um took that queen dreamer that was at the top off so i used it when it was just uh blank and then as you can see i'm grouping and putting it all together so i went and i used the blank slate and then i put the do dream on the do shop on and the other little do dream on girl on there so now what i'm doing is i'm changing the outside circle um I think I want to change that to a pink. And so I'm going to go ahead and change it to the pink. And I like that. So now uh, we went ahead and pushed that picture to the back. I'm deleting all the other stuff. I said I spared all that. So I'm literally trying to see if I want it with the uh, uh, banner or without it. I think I like that pink banner. So that's what I end up going with. I printed them both out, but I end up going with the pink banner. Also, I used it as eight inches i did not use a 7.6 it was too small so for the clock that i had eight inches was perfect i'm going to show you that really quickly 
Okay, so I actually went back and I created it with eight inches. You see how I did that? So I have the circle element, I have the circle frame element, and then I have the circle text element. So those are the three elements that I'm using to get the clock in the correct order. And you see, this is all I'm doing. I'm just making sure that it's all correct. I didn't know if I wanted to make the um, slashes white or pink or whatever, but I ended up going with black. I just kept it with black because I like the way that looked. Even though all of it looked cute, I ended up keeping it that way with the black. So I just kept it with the black. I made sure everything was lined up correctly. You see, I'm making that a little bit bigger. And then, yeah, so that's how we made the face. We could put um, the numbers if you want it, but I decided not to. All right, let's jump into it. So I have the black, white, and gold. I got these from um, Walmart. They are mainstays, wall clocks, sterling, and noble. Um, and then I have the eyeglass repair kit. I got that from the Dollar Tree. And I got that because I needed this little screwdriver inside of here, okay? So the screwdriver literally is perfect. So and I'm going to show you how I dismantled the clocks, right? So right there specifically says twist to remove. So I just twisted that to remove so that I could go ahead and get that out. You do need one double A battery. I got some double A batteries from Dollar Tree as well. Um, so you just twist this off and I think I'm going to speed it up for it. So give me one second. Okay, so we're taking it out of the box. I was going to use the gold, but then I looked at my logo and I decided to use the white. So I'll dismantle the gold first. So as you see, there are those little squares and I needed that little um, screwdriver there. So I'm going to go ahead and unscrew each one of these. And I think I'm going to speed it up a little bit more because this is going too slow. Okay, now it's faster now. So I'm just unscrewing each one of these and then I'm going to take the top off, take the glass off, put that to the side. Then I'm gonna take these off. Be very careful um, because they can bend, but make sure you put them in the correct order so you can put them on the right way. We're gonna take that back off and then yes, now we are ready to get started. All right, so I got this white glitter card stock that's printable by Printworks. It says print me, shared free. It was eight and a half by 11. It's 15 sheets. And I got this for an inkjet printer because I'm using my HP for this. This is so pretty. Wait till I take it out. It is so pretty. It's like a glitter iridescent. It is just, I love it. Okay, so this is what I'm going to use. And I took a couple of them out because remember, I didn't know if I was going to use the one with the border or not the border. I ended up going with the one with the border, but I just took a couple of them out so I could take a look at it. But I love this. Like, I love this car stock. And I got it from Amazon. Link is going to be below. All right. I have them both printed out. And I was just trying to figure out which one I wanted to use. They both are just so cute. I didn't know. But I ended up going with the one with the border. Um, this was the first time that I printed out and it was actually too small. So we're just going to go ahead and get to the correct one. Oh, first let's go over this crafter's tape. So I got this from Amazon as well. I'm going to grab the actual box. It came in four in a package and I got it from Amazon. I'm going to put the link down below. It's crafter's tape by Amazon by ad tech so i'm gonna put that link down below i actually really liked that i used it and i liked it so here i am about to cut it out and it's too small we're just gonna fast forward because remember this has to be eight inches for this particular um wall clock okay so let's just get to that part so i said so let me pull out this ruler again and you see i'm like let me let me let me go ahead and measure it so i measured it and it was eight inches around and clearly that's not eight inches <laughs> So I went ahead and printed it out again, but I just wanted to make sure because I only have 15 sheets of that and I didn't want to mess it up because I like that and I didn't want to, you know, mess it up or, or use too many on mistakes. So, yeah, now I went ahead and printed it out and now we have the correct size. So let's get it popping. Okay, so if you do not have... Um, 
something that can cut this out because you can put it in your cutter if you wanted to you have to put it in a larger cutter so if you have like a silhouette or something like that you can put in that and it can cut it or you could just use some scissors just be very neat try to go even neater than that this was my first time so i went i could have done it even better but i mean it looks good but i could have did it even better it fits literally perfect you see i did the thumbs up it fits perfect okay so so perfect i had to get the little weeds to try to get it out so now i'm going to go ahead and take the crafters tape and i'm just taping every you can use regular tape but this is double-sided crafters tape i love it i heard really really good things about it so i'm gonna use it for all types of things that i need but as soon as i put it on there i i really really love it. i could tell it was good so i'm just putting it everywhere because we can't take that part out for whatever reason excuse me for whatever reason we can't take that part out so we're gonna just tape it on top of there okay so i'm gonna go ahead and take that and put it on there i wanted to make sure i lined it up really good because it's permanent double-sided tape as it says on there so you won't be able to take it off so i smoothed it around it came out so cute i love it now i have to poke a little hole inside of there so we can put the um the back and back on so I, I looked there and i'm like hmm i think i'm just go ahead and poke a hole in it so i went ahead and poked the hole and i was nervous all right and it went right through i did want it to go which is not going to matter when i put everything over it but i didn't want it to you know have too much excess on that end oh, i didn't want to poke myself through the chest i don't like that oh, i'm one of those people i think stuff like that is weird but whatever so, yep, so it goes on, and it's going to make the hole a little bit bigger once I put it through there. Okay? Ooh, I don't like that. <sighs> All right, so now we're going to go ahead and put the clock back on the right way. So, remember, when we took it off, we wanted to remember the uh, order that it was in so we could put it back on the right way because we don't want it to not work. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put that back on there very neat you don't want to bend the arms and see you want to make sure it's on there really really good and then that's the last part okay so now the clock is back together and <laughs> and yep so now we're gonna put the glass back on the screws back in and everything else but First, I have to clean that glass because my fingerprints was all on there. And we ain't got time for that. You don't want no marked up glass, especially if it's on the inside. So I went and I got some Windex. This is actually from like just a dollar store or something. And I grabbed that so that I can clean it off. Okay. So it was just from the dollar, the dollar tree or dollar store somewhere. Actually, I think I got that one from, I don't know. Was it Meyer? I don't know, but it was just a dollar wherever I got it from. Okay, so let's go ahead and fast forward. All right, so we're going ahead getting all those fingerprints and stuff off. We're putting it back on there. Look, I had to make sure the fingerprints was in the inside off because, like I said, you don't want fingerprints in the inside and you can't clean it off. Now, here's something that I did find. I used the little um, tweezers from my Cricut machine to put the screws back in there because it was hard. You see that? So I'm picking them up and I'm putting it back in there because they're really little. I absolutely love the way this turned out. Look how cute it is. Look at all the little sparkles. Ah, I love it. Okay, so just a couple tips. Depending on what frame that you get, I'm sorry, what clock that you get, make sure that you measure the glass so you can make sure that it's the correct size. You don't have to waste your cardstock. Um, you don't have to use the glitter cardstock. You can use glossy um photo paper if you like uh but yeah just make sure you're taking your time and that you're paying attention to the sizing but if you guys have any questions comments or concerns holla at your girl join my facebook group leave some comments below y'all know i'm on that road to ten thousand, right that 10k come on subscribe to, my, to your girl and share 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 um so yeah that's a wrap i hope you guys enjoyed the video i go look at that detail yes honey yes but yeah um y'all be safe out there you hear bye thank you for your time that detail is tripping me out y'all Ooh wee yes all right y'all be safe bye
Remember, go confidently in the directions of your dreams. Live the life you have imagined. Words to Henry David Thoreau. Thank you for your time. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.